morning guys it is thursday september 8th um pretty nice day here for the week that we've been having got rained out of uh, some stuff earlier in the week we we're hauling manure um been chopping silage yeah hauling manure uh got rained out beginning of the week of everything um i think we did a little bit on monday but every day since has been rain um today broke um that streak beautiful day um we're gonna go back to chopping silage we don't have our own silage but we help uh star rock farms uh with their silage and manure hauling uh we have three three trucks we have two straight trucks and a tractor trailer um we also have a silage cart here um and then the manure tank uh they told us manure is not going to go today so i unhooked the 380 from the tank and i put it in the silage cart the 210 was hooked up but uh it got demoted so um we're gonna get ready to roll here uh the rain i guess pushed pushed them a little bit they want to be done by saturday they actually um Snow rock runs a 990 klaus with a 12 row head they have a demo john deere 9900 i maybe uh with a 12 row head and they're going to run both of them today um so we're looking at nine trucks and five or six carts um so yeah i guess that's 15 13 to 15 vehicles um trucks carts whatever they can find to haul silage um it's going to be interesting it's going to be busy it is currently like 10 15 we're starting at 11 30 they want to have a driver's meeting just to make sure everything goes smoothly and i guess we're going to pound out the silage today and then uh keep on trucking with the manure hauling end of the week um before we got rained out we were, they were still chopping uh i was running manure tank we were running five tanks um it was me and then two john deers and tanks and two fence um so we were moving a lot of manure but then like i said it got rained out so um see what i can capture today might go into tomorrow or the next day and haul some manure as well we'll see i'll have to talk to ashley and see what he wants to do but i think we're gonna keep getting stuff ready it's amazing how the cart used to look big until we hooked it to the 380 so we'll see how how she pulls it this is gonna be the first time running it in the cart um i'm sure it'll handle it all right so I got everything done that I needed to do to the tractor and cart before we go. I'm going to wash my windows because there's no sense in going into it uh, with crappy windows to start. Um, so this silage cart is rear unload only. It does not have a uh, front unload. Um, we actually built this cart, built it and put it together. Um, this is our second fall with it, so I guess beginning of 2021, I guess, yeah, 2021 was our first year with it. Um, we are originally just going to build, we have a old dump truck box that we are going to build and put it on a frame and have a dump cart. Um, and we're looking at this frame and chassis here. Um, it's a Diller diller just like our manure tank is well our truck manure tank um it's a diller chassis um so as we were in the process of moving forward on the chassis my friend sent us this box um it was actually on craigslist uh, a company that does wood chips and mulch had it and they were selling it um, they were going to put it on a dump truck to haul wood chips ended up not working out um, it had a roof on it, like a silage wagon would have. Um, we took the roof off, put mesh siding, mounted it to this, and, uh, yeah, we have a cart. But the nice thing about this cart is it has a really heavy suspension and brake system. Um, like, way heavier than what is necessary for the cart. But, uh, works out quite well. Um, yeah, so... That's what we got. Um, well, you probably can't even see. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit bigger than a normal dump truck. 
a um, little bit bigger than a normal dump truck. Don't know what that equates to with other carts. It's uh, 20 feet long, 8 feet wide, and I think it's 12 foot 4 high from the ground up. I got materials. Give it a whirl. I don't know if you can see what's going on over there, but there's two fence, a John Deere in a cart, a Challenger in a cart. We got this thing in the cart. Um, there'll actually be three John Deeres. So three Deeres, this, two fence, a Challenger, and nine trucks. Uh, everyone's lined up and ready to rock. There are the two fence they're sitting that we've been hauling the door with. That's the big lagoon. Um, but time has come. I think I got everything I need. I got my two ways. I got my options for my sunglasses. Here we are. That's our other truck, that's our Wade International. And then my dad's running our Freightliner trailer. And then they have three straight trucks and three trailers that they're gonna run. They have two 8Rs on blades, two brand new 8Rs on carts. Um, yeah, and then Challenger. The fence are a little bit smaller. They are, I believe, 724s, I think. Um, they gave us maps on we're all going to try and run different roads um, just to stay out of each other's way. There's 16 of us running. They have two, there's 16 haulers running um, and they have two items on standby. So there's going to be a lot running. Um, try and keep things rolling. There goes the deer. Chopper, cart, challenger, truck, and the two fence are here. So, it's gonna be interesting. Don't know if you can see here, but uh, we got the John Deere chopper sitting up front. And one, two, three, four, five, six carts sitting here, and one's coming in behind me. So we got we got some hills. Um, the worst the worst side is going to be this side of the driveway. Um, this side isn't too bad. That side is kind of bad. <laughs> No, but you could do it again. It's a little wet. A little wet. Uh, yeah. You got quite the lineup going, Bobby. Um, Cameron Bits is here. He was the one helping us cut tobacco. Uh, he's gonna do some drone footage. Drone footage. Uh, I think he's gonna give it to Ashlyn, and I think it'll probably end up getting in this video. So uh, he's gonna hop around a little bit, and get some stuff. So it just uh, dragging a little bit of mud on the road. So that's gonna be. Yeah, they're gonna have to have somebody here that's taking away the mud off the road. Shiny green paint. You got shiny green paint behind me and in front of me. So, I don't know, so far it looks looks like a beast. I don't know. 
I don't know. You almost got to run this and the Klaus in the same field to really get a feel for it. But uh, I don't know. It's it's an impressive machine. So I don't. I'm not a John Deere tractor guy, but and choppers are different. Now Dad and I ended up uh -oh, ended up here together. out of here first. These are the pits we're hauling out of. I don't know if I ever had the GoPro when we were back here hauling or not. Um, there's a big pit, two small smaller or not small smaller pits and then a big separator pit out back but we've been all hauling out of here for almost a week straight yeah a week straight and we only dropped it about five feet now you might say five feet's a lot in a pit like this yes it is a lot but on a daily basis it feels like absolutely nothing so we made it back from the field. Everything's looking good so far. I was maybe wrong. I guess maybe we will keep up with the carts, although we are still opening up. Um, I was behind Bobby in the John Deere, but it appears that he already lapped the fence on the very first load. So I guess that sets the, the pace. Um, guess we'll see if I'm back behind Bobby next load. But. Um, in all fairness, it is a small fin. It's not like he's not running the same horsepower we are. So um, they all they all haul silage. So I think I'm gonna jump out and check some things on the cart and make sure everything's tight before we keep going. But so far, so good. It's snowing. Uh, yeah, it's, you can see it's leaving tracks in the field. It's a little wet. A little wet. Oh. I'm gonna back up a little bit. So I'm supposed to be able to come up beside him. Oh, he's not leaving me a ton of room. There we go. Go into the belly of the beast. cut a loop here and actually I was wrong it's just a really stupid terrace so he was actually following the rose I thought he was cutting a loop to get out of here camera over to my trusty assistant
So the truck that had a breakdown, they ended up having more problems with. So the one tractor and blade had to go help with that. Um, so it's down to one blade and um, the truck kind of shut the road off so we had to go the long way around. And it ended up jamming us all together. So like seven trucks rolled in here at once and there's only one blade. So he's struggling to stay ahead and it's giving him a little bit of trouble. But uh, so we're kind of stacked up here, but I think we'll catch up pretty quick. So everything's back to going pretty smooth. Um, they got the truck problem solved, we got it towed back here to the shop finally, so back to being able to go the normal way again. Um, they did, however, add another cart. I believe now there's eight of us running. I think there's eight carts and eight trucks. Um, there was nine trucks, but then the one went down. Um, they added a, a neighboring guy here as a tractor and cart. He's running a JCB fast track. Uh, just a small, uh, I don't know the size of the one fast track. It's not the biggest size you can get, but um, it's not, yeah. I don't know what it is, but he's running. Um, still going pretty good. Fields are definitely wetter than, they're wetter than they were before the rain. No, um, they're, uh, they're getting drier as the day goes on here. They're not perfect, but um, obviously for parts they don't need to be. It is a little uh, sketchy sometimes. There's been times that I've white knuckled the steering wheel pretty hard. Um, my cart went for a ride a couple loads ago, just started sliding. Um, not exactly a good feeling when you're loaded. Um, but all in all, it's, it's coming together. Um, had some rocky rocky starts but it's we're getting back back into a rhythm so we'll see what the rest of the day brings and as we were going down the road he noticed something that i had missed the tire was running very awkwardly and it has a very large bubble the whole way around the tire on half half of the tread. I don't know if you can really see it or not, but it's probably a good inch and a half higher than the rest of the tire. Um, so one of our tire guys uh, is gonna come. We have another tire, it's not the exact same size, but it is the same hub pattern. So we're gonna throw it on there, finish out the day probably finish out the season and then address our issues another time so we got that field done well they did um, just got back from getting the, the new front tire on the cart um, looks like they got all that finished up now it's time to play where's the chopper so pretty much have a 50-50 guess but there's only one pass there and two here so I'm gonna go this way unfortunately there's two passes and they both go different ways crap uh, we're gonna go this way and I guarantee you we'll get to the top oh there he is I see the spout It is 7.36 and we are still rolling. Looks like one of the fence was having problems with their web. Um, so I don't know what that looks like. Um, for starting this pile this morning, we got a, a nice pile.
looks like we're gonna clean these short rows off here on the hill um, and then drop down in this is this is a, a mess of a field uh, some of it used to be meadows some of it used to be fence rows and thickets and they cleared them and made it into one giant field and um, we run carts here we started running carts here every year um, regardless of the ground conditions because it is just a nasty place hopefully uh, tomorrow we'll be able to see some more in the daylight I don't know hills never the justice never does okay well too many hours alone in the tractor the camera never does justice to hills so we'll see what we get tomorrow it's a pretty great way to end the day um, we've been in the tractor all day and um, I'm not saying this is hard work but it is long long hours um, it's just it's great to see a pretty sunset um, as stupid as or cliche as that sounds but um, I don't know there's just something about making it through the whole day and um, seeing the sunset in the evening trucks got got a Freightliner and an International personally that white International is my favorite but um, we're gonna fuel up there's some switching around going on that fent and cart which you can't see because of the lovely LED lights in my crappy windows um, his cart's broken so he's swapping out. Um, Bobby's putting a bigger tractor in his cart. Uh, he's running the 8330 now. He's going to throw the 8530 on it. Um, everyone's fueling up and running around here trying to get preparations made for the morning. Klaus is sitting over there. And John Deere is parked for good. Um, not sure where that thing's going but uh, ran its course today and that's a wrap so I personally thought it did a good job um, dad said where the trucks were chopping there was down corn um, he wanted to see it there but uh, it didn't happen so I don't know I'm curious to talk to the chopper operator and see what they thought but I thought it did a pretty decent job all right, so wrapped up here for the night. Uh, it's 11 o'clock till we got all fueled, fueled up and done. Um, planning on starting at uh, 6.37 in the morning um, is the goal. And like I said before, the one chopper will be done just down to the Klaus. And we're going to go finish where they were chopping yesterday. They left us the hole. Um, <clears throat> then we have a little bit more to do besides that. Um, there. And then we have to come back and finish the farms that we're at today. Um, so it's looking like we'll be done sometime Saturday. Don't believe we're going to get it all done tomorrow. Um, that is seems highly unlikely. But I guess we'll see how good it goes. Um, so yeah, that's that's the updated plan that I heard before I left there tonight, and I was fueling with all the guys. So I guess uh, catches in the morning. I'm gonna go try and get some shut eye. <laughs>